Hey everyone. So this is part two of making jewelry with your skins. Um, you can see I have my um, banding wheel up here and this is how I usually do my jewelry because I like to hang the hooks off the edge because they won't lay flat. So you have to have them over an edge. Um, you can use a cardboard box or um, something that they can dip over the side. So I just wanted to show you, I have these cleaned already, ready for resin, but I just wanted to show you how I clean them. So I did put a little bit of alcohol in this little cup and I have a Q-tip. And I'm just gonna wet that Q-tip. You don't wanna rub too long, I just put it on there long enough to get it on, do a swoop around the circle, and then just wipe off the excess alcohol. That should take most of the silicone off for you. I'm just going to do a few more to fill up my rack here. And we're going to try the um, stone coat today to see how the resin um, will set inside these bezels. I have a lot of them here. <laughs> I was cutting out last night and my husband came outside and he's like, you still cutting? I said, yep, I'm going to do them all. So I did everything that I had um, the 25 mil bezels for, so I have tons of skin left yet and um, lots of other settings to work with, but I wanted to get all these, majority of, the, of these done. Sometimes when you're cleaning these, um, you're going to have paint on your Q-tip. I'll show you. So don't worry about it. It's not it's not a big deal. I'm just going to wipe that off with alcohol. You'll get a little bit on your rag as well. I could probably fit one more in there yet. If I push that over here, maybe. Uh, I can move those. <laughs> those are earrings. I'm trying not to uh, touch too much. don't want to put my oil back on there. I think I fit three more on there now. I'm looking to see what I don't have up there. Uh, I like the. I wanted to show you guys this. The sea turtle and the anchor. It looks like um, sunrise or sunset, doesn't it? at the beach, so I thought those were a good theme for that one. Now I'm wishing I had more skin like that. <laughs> Not very cute. I'll do a few more. Here, I have some rainbow skin left over from paintings. So it's really not that hard to do it. It's time consuming. I don't have tons of time on my hands anymore like I used to. So I'm either filming or shipping or, you know, answering emails and messages. And my days are pretty full now. Oh, that one's pretty. Let's do that one. Of course, I'll do the rest of these off camera because I want to get them all done and move on to another project. <laughs> okay, so I know that I just cleaned these, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to about here because I'm going to go, actually, let me do this. I'm gonna start um, right here on this rainbow one so I know where I was. And I'm gonna set these aside so I don't drip resin on them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up my stone coat, and I'm going to do um, almost an ounce of each. So when I get going, I'm on a roll, so <laughs> get on a roll. Now you can use other resins, um, art resin and Envirotex Light and um, 
Pro Marine, I think, is out there. And then the ice one that I have in my Amazon shop, you don't even have to measure anything. You just squirt it in a cup and stir it. But like I said, it doesn't do a lot. I think I got um, 20 necklaces out of two packs, so you might want to think about that one. And if you're new to this, you may want to try that because it's convenient. But um, we old school girls will mix it up. <laughs> All right, I'll get my stir stick here. I'm going to put it in this cup. Start with the hardener. Now I could have done a half of ounce of each, um, but I wouldn't have gotten very far, I don't think. I don't know, this may be enough to do all those. You have 45 minutes working time, but I didn't want it in a deep cup because it will heat up in the cup. So I, mixed, I moved it down to a regular cup. So if you're doing bracelets, um, like the ones that I showed yesterday, you might want to take them apart. Um, all you need is a pair of pliers to open up the jump rings and take them apart and set them on an edge. That's what I did with the one that I did last time. Remove that alcohol. Get all the stuff out of the way. We're almost there. So what I'm going to do is just drop, 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 and then I'll go back and move them around and torch them. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit on the end of my stick. Start putting it on. Whoops. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's a little sticky. I keep forgetting how thick the stone coat is, so I really can't play like I did before. So there you go. Now you know. So I like to just like get it in the middle and kind of let it um, go out by itself because then you're more apt to get a dome but you don't want to overfill because if it goes over the sides you've defeated the whole purpose of resining it will be very messy an eye on that first one I did. <laughs> so that's all there is to it guys. I'm just going to do a few here and then I'll torch them and show you. Let them set overnight. Um, I wouldn't stack them or anything you really want them to care for 72 hours before you start manhandling them. Definitely if you're selling, um, I wouldn't ship for three days. Just to be on the safe side. If you want that full cure, I'll stop with this one here. So after you get those on like that, I'm just going to take my torch or heat gun, whatever you want, and just hit them. Now I have um, press and seal on here so I don't want to like overdo it, so I'm just hitting the edge. 
That looks good. Easy peasy. Something else you can sell with your artwork on it. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I get a chance. And um, have fun creating. Like I said, all this stuff is available in my Amazon shop. All these bezels. Um, the, that puncher that we were showing um, on the first video. The torch. Um, stone coat resin is available through Stone Coat Countertops. The link is below. Um, if you order $80 worth of products, you'll get $30 off your order. So if you get um, the half gallon kit, sorry, and two metallics in your cart, go to the checkout, enter the code CWA, all in caps, and you'll get $30 off your order. Try it out. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, haven't had any issues with it at all not like other resins so i will see you guys all on the next one bye now